All right, guys, Mike here with another Watchman Thinking Out Loud. I um, wanted to do a quick update here. It is um, a Wednesday night, January 25th, 2023, at or just after 11 p.m. And um, there was a bunch of news just coming out in the last uh, couple hours about this um, asteroid, this small asteroid that's going to pass by very, very close to Earth, 2,200 miles away over South America tomorrow, uh, January 26th at about 4.20 p.m. Um, Pacific time. So NASA predicts um, small asteroid to come by early this uh, close by Earth this week. And then um, it's about the size of a box truck. Um, one of the closest approaches by a near Earth object ever recorded. Um, and I think this was discovered, by the way, on the 21st. So very recent discovery. Um, and then we can see here that it's going to have a close encounter with Earth, uh, designated 2023 BU. The asteroid will zoom over the southern uh, tip of South America at about 4.27 p.m. Pacific time, 7.27 p.m. Eastern time, only 2,200 miles or 3,600 kilometers above the planet's surface and well within the orbit of geosynchronous satellites. So is this thing going to collide into any satellites or take them down? or make a little fiery display for us. I don't know. There's no risk, as NASA is saying here, there's no risk of the asteroid impacting Earth. But if it did, this small asteroid estimated to be um, about 11 to 25 feet in diameter would turn into a fireball and largely disintegrate harmlessly in the atmosphere with some of the bigger debris uh, potentially falling as small meteorites. Okay. Um, so there's some... Interesting. The asteroid was discovered by amateur astronomer Genady Borisov. Okay, now this is wow. <laughs> guys, Genady Borisov is the same guy that discovered the Conception Comet. Very fascinating. We can see he discovered it in Crimea, where he also discovered the Conception Comet in 2017. He discovered this on Saturday, January 21st. Okay, so that right there is very fascinating. Um, now, if we um, if we look here too, I, I use this app called Starwalk. I'm going to show it to you in a second. Uh, that's tracking this object because uh, this object is so new; it's not loaded into so many tools yet. But it, um, I pay for a subscription to Starwalk, um, and it does give you the latest. Um, more or less the latest information and um, tracking uh, newer objects. So it talks about the object here um, and that it's also um, available in the app called Sky Tonight. So um, there's the instructions on how to use that if you wanna download it and use it. Um, I don't know if it's free or not, but um, you can try that. And, um, and so here it is, uh, this is the, um, here's our solar system and here's the orbital path of earth and then the orbital path of 2023 BU, the asteroid as it's coming in behind the earth as it's on its way up here. Now it spent most of its time in uh, December and in the first half of January in uh, the constellation Eridanus. So there's some info on the constellation Eridanus uh, right there and uh, and so then uh, it can, it comes out of Uranus and goes through um, Virgo and then Draco. So let's take a look at this thing. Let's watch this video here. Um, that I is a screen cap video that I took on my iPad Pro. And let's go ahead and just play this. And hopefully it doesn't error out. This actually errored out for me earlier. You can see the date at the top right corner there. So we're on January 18th now. It's kind of come out of Iridanus and now it's spending mo most of its time in Reticulum and Horologium and Dorado. Okay, we're January 20th now, still in Reticulum. And I apologize guys for the spinning, but that's the way it needs to be viewed on this app if you're gonna center it on the screen. I also don't like how it doesn't show all the constellation artwork um, at one time everywhere. All right, so there is Karina. It's going through Karina now. 
we can see a bunch of other satellites and celestial objects here. It's getting quite busy there. Okay, Corvus. Okay, now it's moving through Virgo. This is very interesting, guys. It moves straight through the chest area or, you know, stomach area of Virgo. Okay, it passes through um, Boutez. Okay, we're, we're on January 26th now, 27th, okay. So um, there it is, there's Draco's tail. So it basically is, you know, it approaches Draco here um, as, it, as it does this pass. So if it doesn't hit Earth and it continues on, it's gonna go through Draco here. So I find that very interesting, guys. Here we are on January 28th. January 29th now, and we're essentially in Draco's tail. We're just hovering right there, January 30th. So um, that's that. Now, there is this um, asteroid launcher tool here at neil.fun. You can plug in, um, you know, dimensions here. So I think, I don't know if I can do... I can't actually adjust this. Or let's just say um, 40 feet on the size. It's going 6,000 miles an hour, impact angles, 45 degrees. Uh, I'm gonna set my impact location here to uh, Manhattan or uh, New York, Manhattan. And we're gonna go ahead and say uh, launch asteroid. All right, so now it's going to it's going to give us the um, the details here. Um, the impact is going to create a 53 foot tall tsunami if it hit water. Um, it's going to be equivalent to two kilotons of TNT. More energy was released than the Tunguska explosion. Okay, and then we have the um, shockwave decibels, 1246. An estimated 290 people would die from the shockwave. Um, 728 feet. Anyone within that range would receive lung damage. Anyone within 947 feet would likely have ruptured eardrums. Uh, buildings within 1,648 feet would collapse. Homes within 2,200 feet would collapse. Okay, and then we have the wind speed. Um, 1,700 people would die from the wind blast um, in this location. Um, homes within 804 feet would be completely leveled, um, etc. So... It's interesting that, you know, the NASA website and everything likes to say that it would just burn up in the atmosphere, but yet this, this tool is, is telling you, you know, what the damage would actually be. Um, and so we can see the kind of blast radius there, um, trees knocked down, you know, 136 mile an hour winds at this distance here, thousand mile an hour winds at the, uh, at the site of the impact. Um, so this is a major thing. Um, and it, we'll have to keep a close uh, watch on this tomorrow, guys. Um, and then, of course, NASA uh, is on my favorites here in terms of the next five asteroid approaches. Um, BU is not on here. Let me just hit refresh on this and see if it pops up. Nope, it's not popping up yet um, because all these asteroids are January 25th and that one is January 26th. So this will be on the list tomorrow. Um, none of these are extremely close. Um, this one is the closest, and uh, 2023 BL1 uh, at 140,000 miles. So lots of activity, guys. Um, we just got to keep an eye out, but I wanted to do this quick update just to share with you um, this asteroid because I thought it was notable just how it was just only recently discovered. It went through Virgo. It's going to go through Draco's tail, um, and it's right up on us. So... All right, guys. Well, that's it for right now. We'll see you on the next video. Uh, God bless and Maranatha.